Let's look into more factors that affect how quickly the liver can clear drug from the body using the well-stirred model. This time we're going to look at intrinsic clearance. In the well-stirred equation, intrinsic clearance is represented by Cl sub i. Intrinsic clearance reflects how well the liver removes drug by metabolism and by biliary excretion. The liver's goal is to make drug molecules more water-soluble so that they can be removed by the kidneys or in the bile. Phase 1 metabolism involves the cytochrome P450 system oxidizing, reducing, or hydrolyzing drugs to make them more water-soluble. Phase 2 reactions involve the liver trying to make the drug molecules more soluble by attaching another molecule to them. By attaching a polar acetyl group, methyl group, or glucuronide moiety to the drug molecule, the positive and negative charges on the drug are separated further, making the drug more water-soluble. Oxazepam, which is a benzodiazepine, is made more water-soluble by attaching a glucuronide moiety to it. The new, more polar molecule is easily eliminated by the kidneys. It's possible that some drugs induce or inhibit glucuronidation. When patients on oxazepam were also given phenytoin, oxazepam concentrations decreased, presumably because the phenytoin was speeding up glucuronidation. It's also possible that drugs like ibuprofen, ketoprofen, and naproxen might inhibit glucuronidation. As a whole, though, there aren't nearly as many drugs that induce or inhibit phase 2 reactions as there are those that induce or inhibit phase 1 reactions mediated by the cytochrome P450 system. So, phase 2 conjugation reactions also contribute to the overall intrinsic clearance along with phase 1 reactions and biliary excretion. Changes in the intrinsic clearance alter the overall hepatic clearance in the well-stirred model.